and welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow gift guide 2018 and this is part number three so we've kind of split it up into some recommendations and now we're working by budgets so this is our mid-level budget and we split this video into two parts so this part is the 10 to 25 dollar range and then the second part will be the 25 dollar uh, to 50 range. So we're going to be talking about some of our kind of favorite tools here, um, some things that we think are really great to have in your craft room. And I've really tried to take a mix of products, things that I use all the time, and also a, thing, a mix of things at different price points as well. So whatever your crafty budget, you can decide what works best for you in your craft space and with the time you have to craft as well. So again, I've picked out some of my favorite papers and I have them beside me here. So I'm just tipping off a sample that I have to show you in a minute. So I picked out these ultra new wood veneer papers. I really love these. These are thin wood veneer. So we have a birch wood and we have a cherry wood. I've used these in lots of cards. They give you a really modern feel and they are thin pieces of wood. I also picked out the ultra new wood grain cardstock. In the previous part, which are stocking stuffers, I showed you the lawn form version, which comes in lots of colors. Ultra new have it in a white, but it's really fun to rub ink into because you can rub all sorts of fun colors and really highlight the textures in the wood grain. I also wanted to show you the clearly for art. This comes in a white, a clear and a black. I have the black here in a large size and the other ones come in smaller sizes. And I used it at the Wendy Vecchi class that I did at Ranger in New Jersey. And what it is, is it's a film that you can put newsprint onto, you can do all sorts of fun things with it. When you heat it, you can mold it. And once it's molded, it will not go back down again. So this has been molded to go up. So I have lots of depth and dimension to my flower there. And that's not gonna go down. No matter what I do, that does not go back down again. And this gets stuffed in kind of a little bit of abuse here in the craft room. And it's never gone back down. But I can heat this and I could flatten it back out and remold it as many times as I wanted to. So it's a really great medium to play around with. So another great thing that I think is really fun to play with. And again, something a little bit different. I wanted to throw some things in there that were a little bit different. Now behind me, you may also see these wooden drawers. Let me turn the other way. So these are storage that you may have seen on my marker wall that I had downstairs previously. But in here, I store my Arteza brush pens. And I have my numbered because this numbering system works with my swatching system. And the reason I chose these over the Zig markers were because in all honesty, I cannot spit between them. And I had some white cardstock here. Uh, they're so much cheaper than the Zig markers. They're water-based. They have a brush, so you can see there I have all the options. I have all my individual bristles. They react with water. I can do the super fine and I can do the really thick too. So I absolutely love these Arteza Real Brush Pens. I think they're really great value. They come in a huge range of colors. And if you were to ask me between these and the Zigs, I honestly, in a blind test, would not be able to tell the difference. So if you're looking to invest, there is no reason not to go with those Arteza ones. So they are also in my gift guide here. So let's start on the table and see what else we have in here. So I chose the Misty Creative Corners. I do have a video, you're gonna to want to check out, there's a blog post in the description because we can't fit all the links for everything that is on the table in the video description because there's not enough characters that YouTube give us. So we will link up any corresponding videos, any coupon codes we have for you, everything will be in that blog post, so you want to check that out. The creative corners are great because they have some with magnets in here. They also have pieces to line up sentiments and things. I have a video on how to use these. Once you use them, you will use them all the time. They're a really great tool to have in your craft room. I also chose my small Tim Holtz uh, trimmer here because this trimmer will allow me to um, cut full eight and a half by 11 size pieces of cardstock, but it's a really nice size. So it, it you can see the size of my hand here for reference. It's a really lovely size. It fits perfectly under my table. It doesn't take up too much real estate on my table and it just, it's perfect. And it cuts through really thick cardstock. It cuts one of those cotton papers. Um, it's just a really great little tool. Then underneath here, because I've just had to layer so many things up because there's just so much on the table, is my embellishment storage. So this is a Doris embellishment storage. You can get it with lots of the small containers or you can get a mixture like this, which is how I like them. Each one, I'm gonna take one of these out of here and pop these down. Each one has a little lid that opens, so you can pop your sequins inside, and then I put a little label on the front here, 
And so you have the perfect little storage for all of your sequins. This has the neat and tangled, the pretty pink posh fit in there. All of the different brands we love fit inside of here and you can fit little chipboard accents in here. Your ideology uh, embellishments will all fit inside of here as well. Plus in the back here, I added in the chameleon colored pencils. These are a really great value colored pencil set. All of the pencils are double ended and they go from super light to a darker shade and you can blend all the way through these two color shades with that one pencil and you can use Gamson on them. So that was one of the color pencil options I wanted to include because if you're starting out in paper crafting or you're paper crafting on a budget, I really think these are a great tool to include in there because for the money, I think you get a lot of colors and bang for your buck. Paint brushes are another great tool that we all need. And this is a really pretty pink glittery paintbrush holder from Prima. And inside I have all the Prima paintbrushes as well. And they are a great quality paintbrush. They have rose gold details. And again, lots of pretty, you know I love my pretty tools. So I have all of those in there. No gift guide is gonna be complete without adding in our Hedgehog Hollow subscription box. Every month we focus on a different company. You have more product in there, at least 45 to $50 minimum, sometimes even up to $80 of product, a different company every single month. I cannot wait to show you January. Our December box is with Pretty Pink Posh and it's all unreleased exclusive goodies in there. And we will also have an exclusive coupon code in that blog post if you're interested in subscribing to the box. At the front here, I added these new Brutus Munro stamp cargo sleeves. And the reason I added these ones, I use the Avery L ones all the time, time but uh, Christopher has come out with a six by six size. Now so many of us have six by six background stamps and stencils and no one really offers us a really good quality solution. This is really really thick plastic and I can fit my MFT background stamps in here, my six by six stencils and so I am really pleased to have found a solution that's high quality and I bought tons of these at the anniversary party so I'm glad that I could include this in this year's gift guide. So that's in here. Now you may wonder why these really ugly gloves are in the gift guide, but I found these through going to a wool spinning class. These are grill armor gloves. Now, if you work with an easy press or you work with a heat press, these are invaluable. Also, they're great if you work with shrinky dinks. So if you do that for yourself or with children, if you work with the Clearly for Art, these go up to um, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. You can literally hold anything with your heat gun in your hand and heat it. They are not pretty, they do not come in pink. I have tried, um, trust me, I have tried to find pink ones, you can't get them. But they're great because you can handle your heat press when it's crazy, crazy hot and you're not gonna burn yourself. So, excuse me, that's why I wanted to include them in my gift guide. I also included my Dina Wakely media journal. Now, I am not a huge mixed media person, but I had so much fun playing with Dina Wakely in her class this year. She even signed my journal. So she said, Alexandra, make a hot mess because she laughed at me with my rubber gloves on in her mixed media class. And if you haven't seen our creativation um, video of everything we made, I'm gonna see if I can quickly find those pages we did together. And every time someone comes around, I'm very proud of this journal because it's not my usual style, but I really did have fun making some of these pages. And there's different, um, pages. So this one is canvas and then we have burlap pages, we have cotton pages, we have watercolor paper pages. So the pages are all different kinds of mediums which is really fun to play with. So you can really have great fun playing with all the different papers and things that are in the book. So I thought that was another fun and different thing we could include in this year's gift guide. So down the bottom here I wanted to include Chibi Tronics. I haven't had a lot of time to play with them. I did take their class at Creativation. Again, so much fun. Um, do check out some of their videos. And these are the color lights. I bought these, great intentions for Christmas. Haven't got around to them yet, but maybe we'll see if I get a chance to make a video on those. Aquaflow pens, you know, I use all the time. And that pairs perfectly with the metallic accents they added here. These are my far, far and away my favorite um, metallic watercolors. You'll have seen I use these all the time, these Prima watercolors. Let's see if I can open them. They're very, very well loved. They show up beautifully on dark and light cardstocks, and they come in a pastel now as well as in the brights colors. But again, just one of my absolute favorites, so I had to include those. 
I also included my score buddy. This is the smaller size and I find this really is all I need. I don't need the big one. This is perfect for a card maker and I never ever need anything larger than this. And it also stars at the four and a quarter, which many of us use. And then you also have the five and a half if you have the longer card bases. So really does work perfectly. And if you make larger cards, you've got your six as well. So you can make your six by six cards. So another one of my favorites. As we move along here, I included my Nouveau glitters. I mean, how could I resist? I include the new Let It Snow collection because I am on my third pot of this Let It Snow collection. Just absolutely love from making baubles, from making cards, shaker cards, all sorts of fun things. Next up here, I have the Scrubby. Now, I had never heard of this Scrubby. Tim advised me to go and buy one and I did and I have not regretted it. If you have alcohol inks on your hands or if you have distress ink, all you do is wash your hands with a scrubby and it comes straight off. Also takes it off of any surface you have it on. It's a really great cleanup tool and we all love great cleanup tools. Greg definitely loves great cleanup tools. And he's nodding his head behind the camera as I'm doing this. Um, at the front here I included the Crayola Signature Colored Pencils. Again, a lovely, lovely set. And there's actually two layers to this. There's another complete layer of colors. They come beautifully presented in this tin. Crayola sent me these when I was doing their segment for them in the making. I use these now all the time. Maddie also has a set and we just love them. They're beautiful and soft. I use them with Gamsol and they just come in such a beautiful range of colors. And these are just amazing, amazing quality from Crayola, a brand we all love and in this signature range for adults. So whether you're into your adult coloring books or a paper crafter, these are perfect. Here I have a roll of foil tape. So in the last video of stocking fillers, I showed you the Ranger foil sheets you could buy. And I said, well, these are great, but they're kind of expensive. Well, for about $4 more than just those few sheets, you can get a 55 yard roll of foil tape on Amazon, again, all linked up for you. And this is exactly the same stuff. It goes on and on and on, and you can make amazing cards. You can create full backgrounds, you can create strips, and you can use your archival links, your alcohol links, all those things on this foil tape, amazing. Under our foil tape, we have our Nouveau Scrubby Pad. Now, I don't use Scrubby Pads all the time, but for super detailed things, and I'm gonna lift this up, you have this in here. And you also have a little code. You have a wet side, you have a dry side. So one side you're gonna spritz with your cleaner, one side you're gonna keep dry. So you scrub your stamp on here, you dry it off on here and that removes any oils and residue from your stamp cleaner. So when I have something that's particularly dirty or if I'm gonna use something like alcohol lifting, this is a really great cleaning pad to use. So again, just one of those tools I like to have on hand. So there's something else for you in there. Then the next thing I wanted to show you were embossing diffusers. Now, if you haven't seen these, these are a really great tool. And I did grab one of the packaging off of them because what you do is you can use either part of the embossing diffuser. You use it with your regular embossing folders and you can then either emboss, not emboss rather, either the inside or the outside. So you can create embossed frames or not embossed frames. And you can see there how that works. Isn't that a really cool idea? And you get squares, you've got church windows, you've got hearts, you've got circles. You can get them in all sorts of different sizes. So again, another really fun tool. I also have ribbon scissors down here at the front. And I know I have a ton of different scissors in the craft room, but I also always have a pair of Ginger scissors. Ginger make fabric scissors. And when I'm working with ribbon, I love working with my gingers because it means that my ribbon never ever frays. So now onto some other tools here. This is the rinse well, and you'll have he heard me praise this tool over and over. When you're watercoloring, you fill this with clean water. This reservoir fills with water. When it gets dirty, you press this button. It releases into this piece underneath here. And then this refills with clean water. So you always have clean water and you never have to keep changing your water, which I think is a really cool idea. And then when you're done, this piece lifts off, you clean out the bottom here, and then you can just keep going. And then you also have somewhere to put your brushes as well. So again, a really, really great tool. 
Then we have our crystal katanas. I also love the Marvi pickup tools. I also like the fact the crystal katana has a little carry case. And then they have this little tanto. Um, it looks like an eyebrow pencil. Um, but basically it's a sharp uh, pencil version of the crystal katana and I can resharpen it. So I actually prefer working with the tanto and I may have pronounced that wrong, but it means that I can keep resharpening and I always have a new tacky point. Now the next thing here is Art Esprit markers. Art Esprit markers are really, really fun. It's a technique called sublimation, which I hadn't heard of until recently. I got to play with it at Salt Lake City and again in the making in New York. But basically you color on regular printer paper, you take a heat press, an iron, your easy press, any of those things, you put it onto any fabric, cup, anything like that contains polyester and it transfers it over and it becomes permanent. You can also do it on glitter vinyl. So I have a couple of samples behind me. So for instance, I did a heat pad, hot things are hot. And you can see there on the HOT on the hot, I blended the two together. And then here I did it on vinyl. So it has that kind of shimmer to it. So it's on heat transfer vinyl. So again, really, really fun idea. So many things you can do with it. Video coming very soon on how to use these. You are gonna go to these because you buy one set of 10 pens, but you can really transfer them onto a million different substrates. Um, so many things you can do with them. They're a great investment. You can do it with children. You can make, get your children's art, put it onto anything, great gifts for grandma, all sorts of things you can do and you can preserve things. I also behind here have these isopropyl alcohol spray bottles. They come in a pack of six. I buy them on Amazon. Um, they're meant for first aid purposes, but in a craft room, they're great for clear up. They're great for working with alcohol inks, all sorts of things. And these have been an absolute godsend. Yes, we can fill our light mist bottles and things with alcohol, but it's just great that they come in a mist bottle already. The next thing I have here is my Cricut tool set because if we work with vinyl, whether it's for our art spree markers, whether it's with our Cricut Maker, our Scan and Cut DX, our Silhouette Machine, any of those things. And then it has this cool little pencil case, which at the minute I have folded down. But what I can do is I can fold it back up and then I can zip it all the way over. She said and then it's ready to take back on the go again. So I really like the fact that it does that. And then when I'm ready to go, I unzip and I just fold it back down and it's ready to work again. So I just think that's a really nifty idea of a little tool caddy. So that one's here too. My Sizzix Sidekick. Now I get lots of questions about these mini die cutting machines. So I have the Sizzix Sidekick and I have the Alter New Blossom in my gift guide this year. I do not have the Crafter's Companion Gemini Go. I really would like to try it because I love my Gemini so much. Um, I have to say I don't use these machines a huge amount because I have a Gemini on my desk all the time. Um, but this is a great price point. The Blossom I think is the prettier machine. So you can go back, you can watch my unboxings of both of them. Um, I think value for money, the Sizzix Sidekick is best, but if you're going for pretty, then I think the Alter New uh, wins hands down, but it is a pricey machine. So you can kind of make your decision based on that. At the back here, I have the Tim Holtz storage binder for all of his stamps. So this is like a leather distressed effect storage binder. It zips up, you can store his stamps. There's a label on the back where you can sort of write on there you know, what stamps of his are in there and things, which I just think is really nice. I have four of them in my cabinet. So I have a Christmas and I have a Halloween and things like that. In my cup here, I have some more of my favorite tools. I have the new Nuvo stencil brushes. They come in a couple of different widths in the selection pack. Love, love working with these. You can see um, this is my blue and my orange. Really, really soft, so much control. Um, amazing results with them. I have my three different sizes of Tim Holtz scissors. And these scissors really are something special because not only do they have, you can use them left and right handed. They have squidgy handles, so they're gonna fit your hands perfectly when you put them in. They also have micro serrations on there as well. And those micro serrations you're going to want to keep to the bottom, but they just cut through everything like butter. They're just so, so smooth to cut through. And they come in a small micro snips. They come in a medium size and then they come in a large size as well. So you can get those in every size. Now I also have in here a variety of paint brushes. 
And again, paintbrushes are a personal thing. I showed you earlier on Prima paintbrushes. Now in here, I have a multi-pack of Nouveau paintbrushes and you get a lot of these for your money and they're a really nice quality. You get wide, you get fine tips, you get a really nice variety in there. Perfect for your craft room and they're gonna last you for everything. If you're looking for an artist grade, I included the silver black velvet brushes. They're definitely a spurge in the brush arena, but they do fit within this budget. Um, but if you are looking for the most amazing brush to work with, something really soft, really great quality brushes, then the black velvet. And if you're looking for an excellent all rounder, then I would go with that Nouveau selection pack. So a couple of other things that I have around here as well. I did select the Ulta New washi tapes. These are great because they come, you can see, in lots of different widths here. They even do a gilded ombre washi tape. And you can use these on scrapbook pages. You can use them as backgrounds. Look how fabulous that galaxy background is. You can put that straight onto a card and then you do not have to worry about watercoloring a background. No mess, stick it on, you are ready to go. I also included dropper bottles because I have ones filled with water, I have them filled with blending solution, I have them filled with isopropyl alcohol, all those kinds of things. I also have the new um, and the old Tim Holtz craft stocks. These are fab to use in his 3D embossing folders. So we have the silver and gold, we have the new metallic jewels. I'm just gonna flick through the side here if I can. So you can see all those fabulous colors there. We also have the new metallic confections. So you can see much more pastel colors and you can see them on the top here as well. All of those beautiful colors. And these are designed to be put through embossing folders and designed to be die cut. So they really are gonna work absolutely perfectly with those and a couple of shades of copper in there as well. Of course, no gift guide is gonna be complete without the new glass mat that we are all loving. And I included that tool set. I have lots of videos on the glass mat and using the tool sets. So you're gonna to want to check those out too. I included some liquid watercolors from Tonic and I particularly love these because they come in a pen. So there are no mess, they're ready to go. They have a nice fine nib in there and you're going to be using them really, really easily. They come in a three pack. I did include my Ranger Heat It craft tool. I use this when I'm working with watercolors um, and all sorts of other things as well. It heats to a really nice temperature and it has a low airflow, so it doesn't move any of that water in my mediums around, but it still gives me a really nice hot temperature. Now, the final thing I wanted to show you, something you may not have seen yet, and that is the new We Are uh, Layering Guides. So, so many of us layer paper and never really um, get the perfect layer. So I have two sheets of paper here. These layering guys come in minis and they come in large if you're a scrapbooker. And they tell you on here what your layers are. So you have 1 16th, you have 5 16th, you have half inch, you have 3 16th, and they have grooves. So you decide what, um, what size of layer you would like. And then you line it up on here, like so. And then that means that when I'm going to put my next piece on, I put this up to there, I stick it down. I don't have any adhesive on this piece, but I'm then gonna have my perfect layer. So I just think that's so cool that we have something that now, and there's lots of grooves in here, so everything when you're lining it up is going to stick in the perfect, perfect place. So I just love it. I love the fact that I can now layer absolutely perfectly with these layering guys. And the same, they come in mini. I think I'm in long for scrapbookers. So however you like to work, whether it's big or small, there is an option from you for from We Are Memory Keepers. So that is it from part one. In part two, we're going to be showing you um, the larger items in the slightly higher category. So let me just switch out the table. And so in part two, we have our 25 to $100 section. And so in here, I have those kind of awkward price point in some way. We only have a few items here, but these are things that you will have seen around my craft room, things you see me use a lot. And so let's take a look at what we have here. So here I have my Copic storage. 
This I bought on Etsy, and again, I will link this up for you. This is great, you can get different ones. Some fit inside the Copic suitcase. This one fits inside of the Rascal cart. It also fits inside of the Target cart that you can get in the Room Essentials. And you can get ones that fit your Copic sketches, if you have Copic chows, if you have Pro Markers, Spectrum Noirs, all of those can fit and you can buy the appropriate ones. You can also get ones for your Copic refills as well. Down the front here, I have my Magello Mission watercolors. These are my splurge watercolors. I love these. You get, um, this comes full in the top here of all the watercolor tubes. I pan them out and then I wrote with Sharpie all the different numbers so when I want to refill it. And then these are the silver brushes in wide. These are great for washes. Again, fit in this lovely splurge category. And then over here, I have the set of pink fresh liquid watercolors. In the, um, stocking stuffers guide that I did, you could actually get these individually under the $10, I think they're around about the $7 mark, and we have a coupon as well that you could use on them. Or you can get the whole set within this price bracket. Perfect, uh, wonderful Christmas present for a craft in your life. And then you can get that lovely silicone ice tray to pop them in so you can use them as a palette all the time. You also have my favorite heat tool here, the Wagner heat tool for your heat embossing. Love this, amazing consistent heat. One of my absolute favorite tools. I use it more than once a day, every single day. Have my money's worth out of it. Great investment. And then up here I have the Deflecto marker storage. So depending on what markers you have, again, it fits pretty much everything. I have some Zig double-ended markers in here. I have illustrators, I have Spectro Noirs in here. So you can fit lots of things. And this is an accordion. So it folds out all the way straight and then it folds up all the way into a lovely cube. And then it has this lid, which I'm gonna to try to put on, like this. And then it clips on really securely and it has a carry handle. So if you travel a lot, you have that wonderful option from Deflecto as well. Here we have the Ultra New Mini Blossom die cutting machine. Again, it looks absolutely beautiful on your workspace. Um, it cuts nice width in here, so for your sentiment dies, if you're just cutting out a floral that you've stamped from Ulta New, it's absolutely perfect for that. I did also show you the Sidekick, um, works just as well as that as well. This does have a slightly wider cutting plate, um, and then as I say, it's just really, really pretty. And then finally, of course, we have our Misty stamp platform. Now, one of the only stamp platforms we have available on the market here in the US, um, so that I work with the Misty. And then I recently changed the setup in my Misty, which I'm loving. I purchased the Misty mouse pad, uh, which has a nice plastic piece in here. And then these are the Sizzix sticky sheets that I showed you in the stocking stuffers guide. They have a light tack on them. They will last you for ages and ages if you give them a little bit of TLC. But the great thing is I no longer need magnets in my Misty, which I am loving. All I have to do is pop my cardstock in and give it a light rub down. And now my cardstock is going nowhere. And I can lift this out. I can do whatever I want to do. I can pop it back in again. And so you can see, I'm giving this a nice flap. My cardstock is not going anywhere. And then when I'm done, all I do is peel my cardstock off. There's no tack on it and there's no damage to my cardstock. So these just have a light tack. You can also pop these onto your die cutting plates. That's what they're designed for, to hold your dies in place. But they have so many other applications. They're also great when you're stenciling. So you can put one of these down on your Tim Holtz glass mat, pop your cardstock on top, put your stencil over the top, and everything is gonna stay in place. No more masking tape, no more anything like that. And then also your sticky sheets will also peel off really easily if you want them to as well. So another really great tool in there. You will want to check out that stocking stuffers guide as well, linked in that top right hand corner. I've referred to it lots of times through this video, I know. Also check out that blog post in the description below. We have all of the links, we have coupon codes for you, we have special offers, we have all sorts of things, so you definitely want to check those out. And all of the other videos as part of this gift guide series are also going to be linked there for you. 
as well. So lots and lots going on there. So do check out the blog or just hop to thehedgehoghollow.com and you'll find it there as well. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this part of the gift guide and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications of the rest of the gift guide, inspiration throughout the rest of 2018 and throughout 2019 and beyond. And of course, lots of coverage from Creativation because we are the official media partner of Creativation. So we will be your one-stop shop for lots of videos from the show floor, behind the scenes access and so much more. We'll see you again very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.